How's it going guys? Welcome to Strategic Sunday. Today we're going to talk about how to build a Imperial Guard aka Astra Militarum force that has the ability to work like a toolbox and benefit from the Vigilus Defiant campaign book. Stay tuned. How's it going guys? Welcome back. So, um, long story short, we're going to have two detachments to get this thing to work. We're going to have a spearhead or something like a spearhead that allows us to have three heavy support choices. And we're going to have a battalion with at least one tank commander. Now, I would probably recommend three tank commanders for this particular setup. Or you could possibly just go with the one like this. Uh, I don't actually know how many points this is, it doesn't really matter, it's just part of an army. There's going to be a lot, 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 lot more in the list. Um, you could even turn this into a brigade or turn this into a brigade. As long as you've got the tank commander in one detachment and you've got the uh, two basilisk and a wyvern in the other. And you'll also need to have a commander somewhere in the list as well. Now, one added option that I do like to take is the Master of Ordnance. I'll explain why as we go through the list. So, with a toolbox army, basically you've got a list, you've built it, you've set it up, and then when you go to play the mission against your opponent, you then sub in and out bits and pieces or rules or or abilities before the game so if we're going to come up against an army that's very heavily tank focused so lots of lots of heavy vehicles we're going to want to build our list or alter our list on the fly to be able to deal with vehicles so when we take a look at our vigilist defiant We'll take a look at first the Emperor's Wrath Artillery Company. So for one command point, use this stratagem when choosing your army. Pick an Astra Militarum detachment from your army to be the Emperor's Wrath Specialist Detachment. Company commanders, Masters of Ordnance, Basilis, Hydras and Wivens in that detachment gain the Emperor's, Emperor's Wrath key word. So this will be the unit that takes that. Why do we want this? Because we're going to go with some cool stratagems. This one I would have on this detachment every single time, by the way, just so you know. We're going to have Pounding Barrage. Use this stratagem at the start of your shooting phase. Pick an Emperor's Wrath vehicle from your army. Pick one of that unit's ranged weapons. That unit can shoot twice with that weapon this phase. So we get to pick one of these vehicles here to shoot twice. We'll uh, know why in a minute. Our other detachment, we're going to go the Emperor's Fist Tank Company. Use this stratagem when choosing your army. Pick an Astra Militarum detachment from your army to be the Emperor's Wrath's, Emperor's, sorry, Emperor's Fist Special Detachment. Lemon Rust unit in that detachment gain the Emperor's Fist keyword. Now this one, we're going to give them an heirloom from this detachment, which is the Hammer of Sundrance. Most of you have probably heard of that. Uh, models with Battle Cannon only. Hammer of Sundrance places the bearers. Battle Cannon has the following profile. It's basically just a normal Battle Cannon, except instead of D3 damage, it's straight three. That's going to come in handy in just a second. So we've come up against a vehicle army, an army that's de dedicated to having lots of vehicle spam. We've got our Hammer of Sundrance guy here. He's got the the uh, straight three damage cannon. So over here, our, our unit's leader, he is going to go with the tank aces specialty. If an Astra Militarum character is your Warlord, which he is, rather than determining a Warlord trait for that model, you can instead select one tank ace ability for an Astra Militarum vehicle model in your army. To do so, before the battle begins, select one Astra Militarum vehicle model. 
without the Brood Brothers keyword from your army and select a tank ace ability from the corresponding list below. Note that some vehicle models cannot be given tank ace abilities. That tank ace ability applies to be selected model until the end of the battle. Write down any tank ace abilities your models have on your army roster. Named characters cannot be given a tank ability, tank ace ability, and no model can have more than one tank ace ability. If you have an Astra Militarum character model in your army, you also have access to the tank ace stratagem below. Use this stratagem before the battle. Select one Astra Militarum vehicle model without the Brood Brothers keyword from your army. That model can be given a tank ace ability from the corresponding list below. Named characters cannot be given a tank ace ability and no model can have more than one tank ace ability. You can only use this stratagem once per battle. So we've got us a commander. He's decided to give up a warlord trait to take a tank ace and we've spent one CP to take another tank ace. What do the tank aces do? Now, given in mind as well, it doesn't say it has to be in his detachment. He can select the tank case ability onto this guy, etc. So, for our anti vehicle army, we're going to look at the support aces. We're going to look at full payload in support aces. Do not roll to determine the damage characteristic of weapons this model is equipped with, they have their maximum values. Example, a weapon with damage characteristic of D3 inflicts 3 damage. We're going to pick the two basilisks for this one. So our anti-vehicle suddenly becomes straight up damage 3 for this guy, and these guys also straight up damage 3. So that's how we deal with vehicles. If we come up against an army that's not vehicle focused, that's got lots and lots of infantry, then what do we do? Probably not the best option to have all this damage free stuff. It's it's cool. They might have some cool creatures or monsters or vehicles in there, but their army's predominantly going to be infantry. So what do we do for that? Well we take our tank ace ability and we take we take our tank ace ability and we take well stocked magazines. We take that on the Wyvern instead. When rolling to determine the type characteristic of a ranged weapon this model is equipped with, you can reroll any or all of the dice. So you've got four shots with this dude. Now you can reroll any or all of the dice to see how many shots you get with it. He can shoot indirect. So you're going to look at being able to put out a lot of shots with him. For two command points from over here, we've got our pounding barrage stratagem. Now we're actually allowed to shoot him twice to do that with. So he goes from having the ability to shoot it four shots, D6 shots, to suddenly being able to shoot D, uh, eight D6 shots to wipe out infantry. Pretty awesome stuff. So what this dude can then take, he can either be 2 plus save or improve the armor penetration characteristic of turret weapons. This model is equipped with by one, so his battle cannon can become AP next 3 instead. Now, so with my army, sometimes I also like to take two more commanders and I like to give them punishers. And then I like to throw the uh, weapon expert onto those punishers if I'm up against the horde armies. Uh, that way you've got a little bit of AP to punch through the, the horde of men and deal with them that way. Okay, so we've talked about the ways to get through heavy armor armies and ways to get through heavy infantry armies. There's lots of other armies out there, but um, with this particular toolbox, that's basically where they come into their own. Uh, if you're coming up against an army that does lots of movement, you've got your guardsmen that you can run around and block things. Uh, that's not so much for this part. This part was focused more on the getting damage out of these guys, high damage, or being able to take out infantry. So um, 
The other thing I wanted to talk about briefly is why we've got the Master of Ordnance. Now in our Emperor's Wrath Artillery Company, uh, we've got the ability to go Lord of Ordnance. Uh, each time you roll a wound roll of six plus for an attack made by a friendly Emperor's Wrath unit while they are within six inches of your Warlord in the shooting phase, the armor penetration characteristic of that attack is approved by one. AP zero becomes AP neg one, AP neg one becomes AP neg two, and so on. For one CP before the game, I can choose to give this guy a Warlord trait without him being the Warlord, and that's the Warlord trait he can take. I can then spend a CP if I haven't already taken a Relic, or two CPs if I've taken two already, and I can take this Relic. Now this Relic I think is actually very, very useful. In your shooting phase, pick an Emperor's Wrath unit from your army within six inches of the bearer. Until the end of that phase, enemy units do not benefit uh, from cover when targeted by shooting attacks made by that unit. Where this comes in really, really useful is when you're shooting with these indirect weapons at guys that are hiding in cover. Especially how you've got lots of Space Marine stuff now that gives plus two to cover. So you've got these guys with dirty one-up saves. Dropping it on the Basilisk to take care of those medium-sized infantry is extremely good, especially when you've got the uh, three damage on. Uh, the Space Marine goes back to his three plus armor and the Basilisk then has a neg three. Uh, then if you were to give the Relic and the Warlord trait, sixes to wound become neg four, which means that Space Marine doesn't get a save at all. And if he does get a save, it'll be a six plus. The ignores cover, comes into that obviously. And then the three damage means they're just gonna be taken away, straight away. Also as well, you got lots of little weenie guys, like the guardsmen, for example. When they're in cover, they get a, a four up save. Putting on the wyvern allows you to chip away at them a little bit quicker. And typically guys that are hiding, usually will get a save, an extra save in cover anyways. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the little toolbox formation there. Don't forget as well, if you're over 36 inches away, you get the reroll ones to hit too. Uh, so yeah, I also often will take a Sergeant Harker in this type of battle formation or um, Commissar Yarrick, Colonel Commissar Yarrick. He also gives the reroll one aura. There's also Cadia, which has it if they sit still. And um, I actually like to take Voshkroyan as well to give the extra hit to hit. So the Basilisks and the Wyvern will hit on threes instead of fours. Can also help deal with flies a little bit better. Like it's still difficult, but uh, flies are really hard for guard to be honest. Um, Hydras are something that can deal with them quite well though, and that's something else I may talk about at another date, but not today. So yeah, I think I've gone over everything, I've probably left something out, I'm sorry if I have. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, we'll be doing lots more cool videos just like this. Thank you, and have yourself a wonderful day, morning, evening or night. See you next time.